478,000 ask for Detective Harry Temple. What's poppin' Hunter Insurance Crew? What's going on? What's poppin', y'all? I just came back. Welcome, 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 y'all. Make sure y'all smash that like button, of course. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. So I just came back real quick, y'all, to tell y'all, um, give y'all a quick update on uh, the uh, the strike, the potential strike that was going to happen um, with the SEPTA um, Transportation Services in Philadelphia. Um, some of you guys, if some of you may know, of course, y'all that live in Philly, y'all definitely know. And shout out to, um, shout out to Pennsylvania, shout out to Philly, shout out to y'all in the Tri-State area, what's popping y'all. But, um, SEPTA, which is, uh, the Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority, they were set to strike as of midnight Friday. So they hadn't reached any negotiations um, with the union and things like that. So they were set to strike. And that strike could have impacted, um, you know, hundreds of thousands of, uh, Phil you know, Philadelphia, uh, you know, uh, citizens. You know what I mean? Like kids going to school, people going to work, things like that. Travel, the elderly, you know, the disabled. You know what I mean? Anybody that relies on public, even if they just don't have cars. You know what I'm saying? That could have affected hundreds of thousands of people in the Philadelphia area. And, you know, it, it could have impeded them getting around, you know what I mean, around the city. So, um, although they hadn't reached uh, negotiations, they haven't reached that. They actually haven't uh, reached the terms of their uh, goals that they were negotiating for, but they decided not to strike. So, you know, at least for now. You know, uh, Philly is okay for right now. They're in the clear as far as, you know, not having to worry about how the kids are going to get to school, which can impact families, impact parents, because you can't leave your kids home by themselves depending on their ages. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, maybe high school seniors. You know what I mean? They could, you know what I mean? You can kind of make do with that, but you can't leave uh, daycare, kindergartners, preschoolers, uh, you know, junior high school kids, you can't leave them in the house by themselves. You know, we'll have a house by the time you come back, okay? So, um, y'all get into this clip real quick, but I just wanted to give y'all um, a bit of an update on what was happening and what was going on again in our local area. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just bringing you guys a little bit of news. And again, like I said, y'all make sure y'all hit me up. Let me know what's going on in y'all areas and so I can bring light and shed some awareness on what's going on in your towns and your cities as well. So we can all be on one accord and know what's going on in our areas, okay? And see if it affects you as well. All right, y'all, get into this clip. Hold on a moment. Fred and Jackie, we've been out here all night outside of the Wyndham Hotel in Old City. Negotiations have been going on for hours and hours. And just about 15 minutes ago, the union president came outside with that good news, saying there will not be a strike at midnight. That doesn't mean there will eventually not be a strike, but just that will not happen tomorrow morning. We did get a statement from SEPTA. They're, of course, happy with this news. Let's go to that statement right now. It says SEPTA and the TWU Local 234 will continue negotiations on a new contract tomorrow, Friday, November 8th. In the meantime, there will not be a strike by city transit division employees represented by the union when their contract expires at midnight. So all SEPTA services will continue to operate on normal schedules. That is the good news. Let's go to some video as well. That strike would have affected a whole lot of services. We're talking about the Broad Street line, the Market Frankfurt line, trolleys, at least 104 bus routes. So those folks will be able to enjoy those services at least for tomorrow. The sticking points have always been safety and security and money. They wanted the union, a new deal, a one-year contract with a 10% raise. They believe that the that 
SEPTA had a rainy day fund, a reserve fund that had about $600 million in it that they could have used to help with some of those raises. SEPTA says that is not the case. It is not a rainy day fund. They have money in there, but that's being used for things like power bills and construction bills. As for safety, they are making progress on that. They were able to tour the surveillance camera operations today, the virtual patrol unit. The union members were able to see that today. There's progress on ballistic shields that would go in buses. So they are fairly happy with some of the progress being made on safety and security. Like I said, the union president, he came out here, he talked to me about 15 minutes ago. Here's what he had to say. Everything's great. Uh, we made significant progress today, uh, and it was enough progress made where we decided not to go on strike, and we decided to continue talking. Was the progress made with, obviously, more money? Because I know that obviously that was one of the big sticking points. The money wasn't on the table, but the safety issue uh, was paramount, and we, we, made, uh, we made some real progress. Can you tell us about some of the progress that was made in terms of the safety issues? Well, yeah, there's a couple different things, you know, the bulletproof vest, the bulletproof jackets. We're more interested in avoiding a strike and getting a contract. But if it gets to a point where we have to draw the line in the sand and call it, we'll call it. Well, you heard him right there. There will be no strike at midnight, but the possibility of a strike, that is not over whatsoever. They say they will be back bargaining at the negotiation tables tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, of course, this continues, but we're not out of the woods just yet. For now, we're live. Bulletproof jackets and bulletproof vests. What? And bulletproof shields for the bus drivers. What y'all got going on in Philly? Y'all be ODing on y'all bus drivers like that? Okay, not to be funny or nothing now. Don't get me wrong. Public service all like the first like be attacked because you never know you're dealing with the public so you're dealing with a lot of people with mental issues mental illness you're dealing with irate customers people running late for work people running late to school people just frustrated with life and they will take it out on you that i understand now brooklyn you know what i'm saying we get a little piece of the new york city area now we have the metropolitan transportation authority which is mta that's our public transportation system you will get a little piece of bit of a cuss out every now and again you might get a little piece of something thrown at you who knows might even get a little piece of spat at but pow powers ain't your bus drivers how are we gonna get to where we going if they in the hospital this is an extra piece of ridiculous what you got going on in philly that's exactly why i played that clip why because Y'all acting like y'all under the gun, under the, well, sorry, I ain't mean to say under the gun, but shoot, no pun intended. But y'all acting like y'all under pressure, like in speed, which now I hear y'all are definitely under pressure, like in speed. <laughs> Seventy-eight thousand. Ask for Detective Harry Temple. And another thing, six hundred million dollars in whatever fund. I don't care if it's a rainy day, a sunshine fund, or the snow weekend fund. Let me explain something to you. Give them people some money. Give your workers a raise. Now they deal with a lot with the public. Dealing with the public is not easy. Trust me, I know. Dealing with different attitudes, mannerisms, mental health issues, temperaments is not an easy thing to do. Give them people a little piece of it out there. A six hundred million? You can't. Y'all can't spend a million, a hundred million to even get these people a raise. And for one year, they're only asking for a year. Child cheese. Let me explain something to y'all. MTA out here in New York. Oh, they went on strike back in two thousand and five. July 2005 that sucker lasted till August of that year a whole month okay and for that month oh New York City was shut down when I tell you shut down everybody was tired of paying for cash and it wasn't even them lifts and all that and Ubers and all that like it is now and them shared rides and all that you had to pay for a cab for yourself and cab prices went up because they knew they, you know, people had to solely run on them to get to work and get to school and things like that. It was a mess. 
oh the, the city definitely understood <laughs> when i tell you <laughs> when i tell you new york city mta they let they let everybody know who was in charge, in of, the charge of the girls right i am in charge of the girls are you in charge of the girls i am in charge of the girls okay. MTA let everybody know who was in charge of the girls. They shut the city down for a month. They got everything they negotiated for. Oh, their negotiations were met. Their terms were met. And they were happy about it. You know what I mean? Every, all parties were satisfied. And they resumed going to work, getting what they needed to get, and doing what they had to do. And the city resumed. And, you know, things went back to flowing back to normal. But when I tell you MTA let everybody know who was in charge of the girls, oh, that's what MTA let everybody know. Y'all been negotiating for a year? Child bye. MTA will not be doing none of that. MTA negotiates for eight years and 10 year contracts and all that. You, sol you, you solidify your future. You working with the public, you dealing with, y'all are public servants. That is a very high stressful job. And so you need bulletproof vests. You're not law enforcement. What kind of mess is this? That's out of control. Philly, y'all gotta do better. Philly, y'all gotta do better. And um, local uh, TW, local two thirty four. I hope y'all get y'all contract, but y'all think y'all should. Uh, y'all need somebody union reps or something, cause y'all should have negotiated for longer than a year. I don't know what that year is, but what's going? The year is almost up right now. Twenty twenty six, twenty six. Um, what twenty seven gonna be here before you know it? Like, mm mm. Y'all, nah, not with y'all safety ever. Not when y'all need bulletproof vests to go to work. That's out of control. Mm -mm. Y'all gotta do better, Philly. Y'all gotta do better, Philly. I just came to bring y'all that little tidbit, but let me see what else I got for y'all. Let me see. Did I um, say everything that I wanted to say to y'all? Let y'all inform y'all what's going on. And don't that um don't that union president, don't he look a little piece of stressed out? He like he ain't sleeping like five days, yeah. He look all kind of piece of weary. I'm like, but that old man River. I wanted to sing old man River when I saw him. I was like, oh my God, is he okay? Somebody pray for that union, but because he looks terrible. But um, <laughs> sorry, sir. I know you don't know me from a can of paint. He like, bitch, who are you? But listen, I, I'm just giving honest comments, I'm sorry. You look like you haven't slept in days, sir. You look a little piece of stressed out, and I'm sorry. All that y'all got going on over here, Philly. I would not be doing all this negotiation for no year. It would be more than a dog on year. Now when I got to wear bulletproof vest to work, I am sorry. Your job is speed? Like as in speed the movie? Oh, you got to stay above 50? You pray. Open your door! Open the door! 478,000 asked for Detective Harry Temple. Like, they ain't even, they haven't even had a contract. They've been negotiating this contract since June. It's almost the end of the year. Like, people need raises and bonuses for the holidays and something. Yeah. $600 million, and y'all telling me y'all ain't got it to spare a little piece of that to give y'all employees and y'all workers? That's crazy. I, somebody gonna have to help me with that. Somebody has to help me with the fiscal budgeting of the 2024 year or the fiscal year. I don't, somebody has to help me with that. Cause that's not like a lot of damn money. I'm nobody's mathematician, but 600 million sounds like a lot. Okay. That's not, you could, you could break them off with a cool 100 million and you, and you won't even break the bank. Okay. Anywho. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Child, I'm going to leave y'all with that. But I'll bring y'all updates if they decide to go on strike, child. Y'all already know what time it is. <laughs> and speaking of that Broad Street bully, is that what um, is that what that dude was talking? What's his name? What's his name? Benny Seal? Is that what he was talking? The Broad Street bully? Or is that what he's talking? But it's a rough place, I'll tell you. Mm -mm, wouldn't go there if you paid me. But anywho, y'all... <laughs> Y'all let that know. I'll replay game. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. 
Again, I'm going to bring y'all any updates that I find out. If they go on straight, hopefully they don't go on straight. But they said they're working it out. They went back to the um, negotiation table to stand a third. So, um, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's at least a good sign of, in the right direction. You know, they at least are still willing to talk, to, you know, talk it out and work out some type of terms and things like that. I will say this. Just be mindful when y'all go on strike because this happened to MTA employees in New York City. When they did return to work, they get they did get penalized. All of those days that they were off work and striking, MTA took the took their money back. They took their payback. So I'm just giving y'all a heads up. I mean, you know, it, you know I me. Mean? It's gonna be worth it in the long run. But I definitely would have negotiated for more than a year. I don't know how who let that slide and. Who 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 put that on the table for just a year? That's your safety. That's your life. That's your lives. You want to get back home to your family? Uh uh-uh. uh. Not a year. Nah. You better make that three five or better. Uh uh-uh. uh. No way. But who am I? I am but a mere mortal. But anywho, y'all, hundred times screw. I appreciate y'all for rocking out with me. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And as always, if y'all have any stories in your areas, in your towns, in your cities, in your states, and y'all want me to shed light on it, bring attention, bring awareness to it, please hit me up at metal the dog um twenty four at gmail dot com, and I will definitely do my best, do my research, get it out there to the public, get it out there to you guys. I definitely appreciate y'all. 100 times crew y'all make sure y'all smash that like button new subscribers i appreciate y'all for rocking with me rock and roll with me i'm a little piece of different i'm a little piece of my um, little piece of smorgage board i'm a little piece of you know what i'm saying little piece of buffet you get a little piece of everything with me i try to you know uh you know inform and bring you the information but in a light-hearted way you know what i'm saying though mixing a little bit of comedy and you know what i mean you know what i mean to spice it up make you feel a little piece of upbeat the news is so sad and depressing as it is so i just try to bring my own little spin on it and my brooklyn flair to it i am melanie jones says song from brooklyn new york my accent is heavy and so is my tongue nope diddy don't get it twisted ig check in a hot minute as you can see from my mother from my other content as well so <laughs> Tread lightly, don't get on my bad side. But anywho, y'all, I'll check y'all later. 110 crew, we out. I appreciate y'all for being here. Philly, do better. And get them people, they bulletproof vests, because that's some wild stuff. You need a bulletproof vest to jar the bus. I ain't never heard a mess like that, y'all. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. We out, y'all.